Hello everyone and welcome to another fantasy match preview for the game between Netherlands and Namibia. We had two roller coaster games yesterday with West Indies winning the first one, rather losing the first one. <laughs> and uh, I'm too habitual to thinking that West Indies should have won that one. But yes, Scotland totally upset them in that first game. And uh, an interesting part being that most people went with 7-4 in the favour of West Indies. So, maybe there's something we have to think about in that aspect because many of these teams who have come into the qualifier have shown that maybe it's time to make a few more balanced teams. So, let's see how that goes. And I have Nikhil Bhai with me today. And while we're recording this, the second game is still on. So, we're not able to discuss that one yet. And how are you doing, Nikhil Bhai? It has been good. Uh, I think there is still lessons to learn for uh, the teams as well. I think they've mm. taken conditions for granted. Uh, I kept saying right from the first video that conditions are important, conditions are important. In Australia, batting first is fine. Stop looking to chase just for the sake of it because conditions don't get better to bat in the second innings. This is not Asia or subcontinent or some other place that and no chasing is much better. Hmm. So, you have to adapt to the situation. Uh, Sri Lanka found out the hard way. West Indies has found out the hard way. Netherlands almost found it the hard way. But mm. uh, they were saved thanks to some okay kind of uh, fielding from UA. But again, it's just part of the game. But it just tells you that game will, games will be more even. And this is not mm. a Russia Cup or, uh, uh, you know, where just a coin is going to decide your future. Right, absolutely. And before we get to the preview for this game, keep in mind that the depositors leaderboard has just begun on fan to play. Yes. So go make your best deposit right now because just before the game begins from the 22nd with the main leaderboard and the Renault car, you also have an iPhone and other set of prizes up for grabs on the depositors leaderboard. So you can go on the app and check what the best deposits already are and then make your best deposit based on your convenience. And on that note, we'll begin with our preview. First up, the ground conditions for Geelong. As the word says, Geelong, it is long at one side. People are looking to target the short side and getting out. Uh, right. <laughs> just be smart. See the games. I think after the first game, you'll after the first few games, you will know how things are going. Uh, Pacers are the ones who are continuing to do better. Very hmm. interesting to see when spin comes into the into into the game. But uh, both these teams that are playing today have a lot of all-rounders. So, that is going to be an interesting battle. Right, absolutely. And it was not like it was the easiest pitch to bat on either, even though the Pacers dominate over spin. So, yes, it is a chance for you to maybe pack your team with more all-rounders, more bowlers, and maybe batters who bat. Not, not necessarily that you have to cut down on all the batters, but maybe take batters who play less risk cricket. So, yes. that could be the approach for you. And let's look at our fantasy team then for this specific game. So, we've set up this team already for you. Like you can see, we have gone with Scott Edwards in the keeping section and three batters, Max Erasmus and JJ Smith, who's not really only a batter, he's more of an all-rounder. So, Nikhil Bhai, how do you see this set pursuing? Do you feel like you want to take any other batter or this is adequate enough? Uh, I feel this is pretty much it for most guys. Uh, mm. If you see, if you look at the options that you have, uh, here Scott definitely is a much better option. Yes, you mm. will argue that he bat, he's batting too low, but mm. he showed his experience. He's from Australia. He's born in this country. He knows the conditions inside out. Uh, so he will play a key role for them, lower down the order. But maybe if you want to take a risk. And take Zen Green if you feel mm. he's going to contribute more. It's a call between whoever you feel will contribute more with both gloves and the bat. So, because catching is very important in this country, you see a lot of uh, keeper catches, even stumpings and runouts. So, all those small points make a difference. Uh, mm. So, you can take a call there. But Scott, much better in form, has got a handy knock to back him. So, I think I'll, I'll stick with him. Right, absolutely. And then the batting, uh, again, we have gone with guys who are more stable in nature. Smith is more of an all-rounder, even though he's known more for his big hitting. So, hence, that yeah. works in his favour for him. An option that you can try from the batting section, apart from the guys that we've taken, is Tom Cooper. He is a, yeah. a worthy option for you to try, especially if Netherlands bat first, because then he can probably take his time. And with all the teams having played a game now, they 
probably know the fact that you can probably take your time and bat in just like George Monsi did. So maybe that is an approach that we might see a little more. Now on the all rounders, we have taken Visa, Bas, Delili as captain and vice captain, and Frylink and Logan Van Beek. So Nikhil, why do you see role of Van der Merwe fitting into the side in any way, or Colin Ackerman? Colin Ackerman didn't bowl in the first game. Yeah, I think that was one concern for me. Uh, and even in this game, I feel one of the bowlers might have the rovers cut short, hmm. uh, depending on how the spinners start. So if you see hmm. here in the in the batting session, Max Odau is the only risky guy that you have. But hmm. if you swap that with Tom Cooper, Tom Cooper also potentially can bowl and give you a few overs. So right. uh, that's a call that you you can take if you feel like you know Tom Cooper. But again, these are the batting orders. Tom Cooper also I felt batted too low. I felt hmm. he could have batted higher. Logan Van Beek came very very down very low. Hmm. Uh, so that was also a surprise. So look out for those lineups uh, in terms of the order. Rest, I think nobody is going to risk with these four that you can see on the screen. They are going to be mm. there in every team. The fifth guy, as I said, you could drop Max out and take Loftyton if you feel he'll bowl. He's mm. a very potential, you know, he always has a couple of very great knocks in a series mm. era tournament, so that is due. He started really well versus Sri Lanka, and if he, he bowls in good enough spin, so that could mm. also help you. And uh, obviously, you have Rulof and uh, Ackerman. But again, a rule of you have to be very sure that he's going to get to bowl. And uh, if you if you're sure, then you can definitely try uh, one of these three options actually that you have. Right, and very interestingly, as mentioned, we have gone with three batters currently. But you can easily drop Max and take either Tom Cooper yeah. or if you want to go even safer, someone like Rolf, because you sh- would expect him to bowl if not his full quota, at least bowl yeah. a few overs. And then when you look at the bowlers, we have gone with Paul Van Meekren, Fred Klassen and Scholz. Now, I don't think there's too much to differentiate here, but Chicago would be a good option with the way he started against Sri Lanka. But he's a little more aggressive in his bowling style, so would he fit into the side for you? Uh, I think he's, he, he's somebody I'll take in terms of his bowling form. Hmm. Uh, so, if they are bowling first and I feel that Chicago will again make a difference, uh, then definitely yes. Slightly worried with his usage last game, but I think he, mm. he still found a way to strike. So I think that is uh, good enough. With Paul's, I'm very keen to see uh, when they use him. Uh, last game, uh, he was held back because Ajay Paksha was uh, going great, but he did get mm. him up. So uh, those Mark Ward bowled to Evan Lewis and Kyle Mayers. Mm. And so, you know, those kind of matchups are also different. Because teams are going using them differently, so uh, you can in this game you will, you will have many bowling options to pick from. So hmm. it is going to be a very important to you know nail the conditions. How do you feel the match is going to happen? If you think that the next spinners will get help, then you will keep the same players in your team, which will spin and impact. Or if you think that the next pace or bounce will get help, then you can back that kind of bowling. So, you have options with Marve, uh, Ackerman, and you can also have Skolz. So, plenty mm. of options there. So, you have to be very sure how the game is going to go and then you can take your pick somebody. Yes, absolutely. And for now, captain and vice captain, we've gone with the safer choices in Visa yeah. and Delady. And there's no reason for you to take a risk here because Visa is going to bowl full quota, is going to finish the innings and similar role for Delady. So, and both are in form too. So, I don't think there's too much of chance you can take there unless you feel there's going to be movement up front and you want to go with someone like Van Beek. But the first set of games did not give us any evidence of that. So, this yeah. is what the final team looks like for us then. And now we are on to the section where Nikhil Bhai will select for you one amazing GL pick, maybe a dream team captain, who knows. So, on to you and over to you. Uh, I miss Trumpelman. I don't know why he didn't play. Uh, so hmm. I'm not sure whether he's injured or not. But if he plays, he directly slots in as my VC. Uh, if he's bowling first. Uh, he is somebody who can take 2-3 in an over. And hmm. uh, very good at using the new ball as well. Uh, so, if he plays, definitely a very good one to try. In my part for this game, roll of Vandermover, if he's bowling second and batting first, in that case, he will be my punt pick for this game. And uh, on that note, we'll close this discussion then. Thank you so much to everyone who tuned in. We hope we could help you with certain insights. Do like, share, comment, subscribe so that we can reach out to more people and wish you all the good luck for this game.
yes and do remember games are not going as per plan but because you're not taking too much risk you're still in a decent nor hair plucking position so stay there till the time the patterns change and then you can start taking more risk so yes please invest smartly and of course play responsibly happy with this